I'm Jake, and I play guitar. I'm Jenna, and I sing. And tell us how the band got together. Yeah. Um... We were all playing in uh, bands in this same sort of area, and then Cam, the bassist, and I, like, we, we were both in a band together, and then Whack, our other guitarist, joined, got rid of the singer, got rid of the drummer. Yeah. Jen and uh, You were left with nobody. And we had no one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Jen and Matt filled in. Yeah, um, I'd been playing with, uh, drums in a jazz band actually, and that's how I met Cameron in 2006. And I was pursuing an acoustic career at the time, and we were recording my demos. And Cam was like, well, we just um, lost our singer, so you want to try it out? And I did. And it, was, and it worked. It sounded cool, and it was just for fun at the time, but as soon as we started, we were like, wow, I really want to make this sort of worth it, so let's give it everything, and we did. And what was the common goal when everybody got together? Was it a certain musical attitude or just a camaraderie you figured out as you went, or what did you feel was lacking in the music world that you wanted to bring to it? We were all just best friends at the time. Exactly, this is what I was going to say. We wanted like, to just hang out and play music, and that's what we did. And that's just, what we loved. We loved doing it on our own, and then it was even better together. Yeah, and then um, it just started progressing from there. I guess um, we always wanted to be real. We wanted to be honest. Um, we weren't about trying to be or trying to come off as anything. Like we just write music because we love it, and now we write music not only because we love it, because we love our fans, and because they give us a reason to keep going. And yeah, yeah, that's what it's about. That's great. And tell us about some of your latest songs. Like any songs in particular that you're most proud of, and what they're about, and you hope that people mm. connect with. Uh, it was great getting the um, the cover on. Punk Goes Pop, that was, um, that was a real achievement, um, otherwise album songs. Yeah, we wrote an album that we named What Are You So Scared Of and we released it on Fearless Records on Valentine's Day this year, so it's online and in store now, but um, the message of the album is to ask yourself what are you so scared of, to not be held back by anything or anyone for whatever reason, if you want something go fight for it and don't let anything stand in your way. So that's kind of our message. Um, Exactly, just to not sit and wait for good things to happen. They say good things happen, good things come to those who wait. But in my opinion, good things come to those who work for it. And um, that's kind of been our band motto. It's kind of been a silent one. I've never said that out loud before, but we all share the same, the same vision. Yeah. Well, especially these days, it seems like anybody with a computer can make a CD. You can upload it to iTunes. So, you know, to really stand out, it's more challenging than ever. Yeah. What are some of the ideas or tools, besides the obvious social network or the touring, that you guys might do to either reach new fans or connect with your current fans? Um, we just try and write the best songs that we can, just to, I mean, just so that everyone gets ourselves out there, really. Exactly. We want to get through to people. We're not just writing music just to put it out there. It's not. I, I guess it, it has a purpose, it has reason, it has meaning. And I think we like to, to write music that our fans can relate to. Yeah. So um, that's really what's um, pushed this band as far as we've come so far. Yeah. Uh, uh, be nice to your fans. I mean, exactly. Because they're the people that are coming to shows, they're the reason that you're, that you're touring. Basically. Yeah. That's great. And from what you've gleaned and seen out there in the world, what advice would you give to those young bands coming up sure. and the people in the crowd that want to be up there on stage and do what you do? Yeah, I'd say you can never know enough. Um, it doesn't matter how big you get, you can still be better. And there, are, every single person you meet has something to teach you. Even if you don't give them the time of day, like don't be an asshole. I guess everyone can teach you something and you'll never know enough. Yeah. So, um, and also don't be afraid to fail. I think that's part of it. You have to make mistakes and you have to do embarrassing things that you're going to look back on and say, what were we thinking? And we have that same thing. We wrote songs, we wore clothes, we danced on stage like complete idiots. And now we can look back and go, all right, well, we had to do that to get to here. So make mistakes. It's okay. But put your music out there, get recordings, um, make as many friends as you can. Yeah. yeah. Work as hard as possible. Just have a strong work ethic and that should get you through. I think, um, I know this answer is going for a really long time, but a weak link in your chain can really let the band down. Um, you need to make sure that everybody has the same vision and that everyone's working towards the same goal. We had to give up everything um, to be here. Like. I think everyone is in this 100%. No one's got their mind elsewhere, you know? This is You're our heart's strongest, greatest. your weakest link. Exactly. exactly, that's a great phrase. Exactly, I like that. So basically, make sure your team's tight, persevere, take chances, stand yeah. out, do what you believe in, and never exactly. say die. Yeah. Exactly, and also be real. No one wants to see you trying to be something or 
trying to do something that you're not. So. Yeah. Be honest. Yeah. Uh, Alright, we're tonight alive. <laughs> you got the power. The indie power.